Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we finished the 7th dungeon, got the Organ of Evening Calm. We are so, so, so close to beating this game and getting all 8 instruments. We also got a stronger sword, the Koholit Sword, and got the Mirror Shield. And also, we got... Oh, what else did we do? A few heart pieces and we all have uh, 40 secret seashells, but that doesn't matter. In this episode, we're going to be finishing this adventure. We're so, so close to finishing this journey. Let's go to the final dungeon. As you remember, the organ told us to use our ocarina somewhere. And we haven't been to the, uh, the northwestern part of the map, so we're gonna head up there now. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited for this part, because this part is just so fun. Um, I completely adore this part of the game because of how, like, I, there's not much to say. There's not much else to say about dungeons for now. Whoops. There's not much else to say about dungeons for now. Um, I mean, this last dungeon is going to be our final dungeon, and I can't believe it's almost over. Um, so let's get through this. Oh my god, a piece of power. That'll make our sword even stronger. We're going to head down here. Head this way. I hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. Yeah. Ow. Ah, these damn enemies get me again. Every time. Every damn time. Okay. Let's head to the 8th and final dungeon. I will... I'm not gonna say its name, because it's actually a pretty cool surprise if you know the reference. So I'm not gonna say the dungeon's name. Also, well, yeah, we also, last episode, we also got some sort of chicken. Uh, the blue cucko join us. But unfortunately, it had to leave us. So, that's sad. Now, we're gonna use our hookshot. Go over this way. <gasps> Marin! And she needs help. So we're gonna help her. Hookshot! Whee! <laughs> She's gonna thank us, all that kind of stuff. And she leaves. As sad as this sounds... Oh, hey, Mr. Owl. I didn't expect you to see you here. Hoot, that girl sang her song in front of the egg. Her ballad of the windfish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake the windfish? The next siren's instrument is in the west. Play your melodies in the unliving stones uh, might hear, or so the un unliving stones might hear. Show your courage. The windfish waits for you. Hoot. And that's it. Let's go finish this journey. I, it's little, It's really sad. It's really sad that we're about to end this journey, this long, long journey. But we've got a bunch of other stuff to do. I mean, there's plenty else to do. We have a lot of post, like we have a lot of things to prepare for, for before the final boss and all that stuff. So I guess it's not... Oh, I completely forgot this was here. Let's grab this while we're out. Oh, while we're down here. This is, I believe, a heart piece. Oops. There we go. Okay, heart piece. Cool! I would definitely take that. Um, 
But yeah, this is really sad. Like, it's the finale almost, and... But, like, like I said, we have a lot of preparing to do, yes, but, like... It still feels sad, knowing that... Excuse me. Knowing that it'll all be gone. Or I'll be done with, I mean. Not gone. <laughs> but we can't be sad now. We have a lot. We have another whole dungeon to do. And a lot of stuff to explore right before Enkaholent. Before we fight the final boss and wake the windfish. Ow! Falling rocks. Not fun. Ow! Falling rocks. Not fun. Will you stop it? Here's another secret seashell. Awesome. Definitely take that. So as you can see, now we're in the e the uh, east side of the mountain range, and our final dungeon is right over here. But first, while I go over there, there's a secret here. And... Oh, it's one of these again. Okay. This is going to give us an upgrade to the arrows, because we've got powder, bombs, and now our arrows. Come on. Yep, it's a curse. Yep, yep, totally a curse. Uh-huh. And that is all three of Little Devil's locations. Not that hard to find him. He's pretty all over the place. Now we can hold 60 arrows, and we can hold 60 of everything. So that's really, really good. Ow. In this chest... 50 rupees. Yay! We don't really need money at this point, but I'll take it nonetheless. Alright. Let's keep it going. Wow, we can just one-hit things now. Holy crap. Open this up. What's over here? Isn't there... Yes, another heart piece is right here, actually. Awesome! Sweet! Definitely take that. I think we're at... Half tail where okay. We have two. Let's go this way now. We are so close to getting everything in this game. Hard to believe, really. So now that we have the mirror shield, we can actually go through here now. Block all this fire. Pretty useful. That's literally the only use this thing has. Like This thing's pretty underutilized. <laughs> Which is kind of sad, in my opinion, because it had so much potential. Here we have another teleporter. And I think that's all of them. We've gotten all the teleporters to go wherever we want now. Which is nice. Um, there's a secret seashell here. I think we have to dig it up. Yep, right there. We are very close to getting all of those, too. We're at 44 out of 50. Any bomb walls here? No? Okay. Just checking. You never know. Oh, you're not gonna fall down there. Where is that gonna take us if we fall? Oh, somewhere I don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> nope. Even though I could just teleport back up here, but it doesn't matter. Kill the bird. And now, we have something that may look familiar to some Zelda fans. So I bet you're wondering how we get in here. Well, they, they were saying how the ocarina can awaken things. Let's try the, song, the frog's song of soul. And it works. This is a mini boss of sorts. Now, I bet you're wondering, how the hell do I fight this guy? Well... Um... I think I mentioned this last episode. You can use bomb arrows. And that's what the arrow upgrade is for. Also, special boss music for this boss specifically. You just want to throw bombs at him and awaken his, or like, open his uh, mouth or, or like, shell. And now, we can attack him proper. Ow! This guy can be a jerk. There we go. Make him dizzy, take him out. Pretty simple. Except he's gonna do that to you. He's kinda cute, I'll admit. 
No, 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 no. Okay. So, he should be almost dead by now. Goodness. There you go. Now he's dead. That's a cute little mini boss. Let's go into the eighth dungeon. Level eight. Total rock. Yep. The last dungeon in this game is Turtle Rock. Just like how it was in Link to the Past. Turtle Rock was one of the last dungeons, funnily enough, on a mountain. On Death Mountain specifically in Link to the Past. This dungeon might take us a while. It's kind of long and kind of hard, but we'll get through it, I promise. But the music is kind of ominous. It's not my favorite. But it's actually, it's, it's okay. I'm not sure, these are little devil things. I'm not sure how to take these out. I think you gotta wait till he comes out of the wall. I don't know. There we go. Because he has to make a decision on where to go. God bless it. Yes, this is our fir also our first instance of lava in a dungeon. So that's nice. Can I just go past you? Oh my god, stop. Alright, we're just gonna go past you. Bye. This map can be a little hard. This dungeon can be a little hard if you do not know what you're doing. It's actually one of the hardest. But I will try my best to get through it. Or we will try our best to get through it. So these are cute little uh, things where you can make platforms appear in the lava. I'm not sure what purpose that serves. Oh, you can hookshot to that. What's the point? Oh, you go up here, okay. Yeah, like I said, this dungeon is going to be pretty tough because of how it's laid out. And I don't really remember much of it, so that's going to be fun to deal with too. Also, lava? Whoa! Oh, these are proper potaboos, aka lava bubbles. Love these little guys, they're so cute. So yeah, Turtle Rock. Very hard dungeon. Uh, that's all I have to say about it, because I actually don't remember much of it at all. To be completely honest. What's in here? Oh good, the beak. That'll help a lot. I hope. Where are we? Oh, we got a mini-boss! We got this guy again! He appears again! I thought I completely forgot he appeared again. To be honest, I did. No, 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 no. Mister, no. Give me that ball. He's so cute, though. I don't want to kill him. Throw your ball. Haha. <laughs> no! He stole it back. There we go. Throw it at him again. And one more. There we go. He's dead. Again. Thankfully, we don't have to take a wrecking ball through a dungeon again. Good lord, that was awful. Where are we? Oh, we're down here. Okay. I think we're supposed to be here. How do these platforms work again? So what you want to do... You want to try filling in all the squares, I think. So like this. It only turns when it's at a corner. Like so. Boom. And we get a key. I love this. I like and hate. I love and hate this dungeon for a lot of reasons. Just because it's long and it's complicated. Because I've gotten lost here a few times. That's a fake chest. Awesome. Good to know. <laughs> so where are we now? We're in this crossroad area where it meets. Okay. I'm checking for bumble walls. You'll never know. I'm glad we can break pots with the sword. Because, uh. Good lord. Magic powder for some reason. 
Oh, button. I see you, button. Oh, that I just opened that. Here we have these guys again, but they can die super, super easily. And stairs. So yeah, this... I don't really know what to say about this dungeon. It's hard, sure. But, like, it's not the hardest, in my opinion. It's not super duper difficult. I mean, it is the final dungeon of the game. You, I just don't remember much of it, to be completely honest with you. Ow. Did not mean to get on the spikes. Come here, Goomba. Let me stomp on you to get, get free hearts. Awesome. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And jump on here. I do like this dungeon. It's pretty cool for a last dungeon and a really good reference to Turtle Rock. And I'm pretty sure the dungeon literally looks like a turtle. If I'm correct on that assumption. Oh god. Die. We can finally kill Bemos. What the heck is this? Oh, it's an owl statue. Fill all the holes with the rock that rolls. Oh yeah. He, we already kind of knew that. Where are we now? We're up here? That was pointless. <laughs> kind of pointless, but okay. We just make it a... So you get to go two ways from here. Interesting. I've already done this puzzle, so we don't need to do it again. Thankfully. Uh, let's try going the other way. Ow. There we go. I do, I do like this... Oh no, come on. I think you gotta use arrows. There we go. You just gotta shoot him when he glides down. Okay, he's just gonna dodge it no matter what. Okay. So we're gonna wait till he dodges... Or... There we go. So I'm just gonna hold a spin attack. Oh, come on. You can't slash too early because he'll run away too. He's so annoying. Little devil. Beat the devil out of you. Are you kidding? Oh, okay. You can't spin attack. Wow. This dude's a dick. Thank you. Oh, and then he splits into two other demons that you gotta dodge. Pretty, pretty, over, pretty annoying. Uh, thing to kill, but I think you'll need to do that once or twice. Anything over here? Nope. What if I push it? Nothing. Can I push it? We still haven't gotten the, um... Okay, I thought that'd do something, but I guess not. Now we're on this side. I'm surprised we haven't gotten the map or compass yet. Oh, a blue Hedox! Ugh. No, let go, let go, let go. Jerk. <laughs> Two spin attacks and he's dead. Damn, this thing's pathetic. They gave him three attempts to try his best and he, they just flopped each and every one of them. <laughs> Nothing there, okay. Let's head this way. Oh yeah, here we go, this puzzle again. Okay, oh, maybe I failed that. Hold on. I hate how you have to use the circle pad and not the D-pad. It's kind of annoying. There we go. Filled in all the holes. And this should be map, please? Oh, seriously? Rupees? I don't want rupees. <laughs> I need a map. Um, even though I technically already have one, but whatever. I want the full map. Oh, great. It's dark. I don't think we can do this right now. Cool piece of power. Yeah, we can't do anything in this room for now. This is for later. I completely forgot about what the dungeon item was in this level. I'm gonna go south now. Whoops. I completely forgot what the item was for this level. Kinda concerning. Let's go south. Oh, is this a chat? Is this useful? Please. 
Nope, it's just purple rupees. Uh. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Um. There's like nothing we can. Oh wait, there. Duh. Ow. Oh my god! Okay, all the mini bosses are returning. This thing's gonna die in like one hit. Watch. Wow. This thing learned nothing. Okay, it took way more hits than that, but I, they probably upped its level a little bit. Or it's like strength in this dungeon just cuz. It's so it's not like a cakewalk. Let's go up. We got another stupid little devil to deal with. Or big devil, I guess. I'm gonna beat the devil out of you, literally. Come on. Come on. Oh! You can also deflect those with your, uh... Okay. It helps actually... A lot! To help killing this thing. Boom. Okay, then we gotta dodge the two little ones. There we go. Oh, it drops a key! We already have two of these, but I'm wondering why we need a third one. There's nothing else in this room, so let's go out of here. Let's go down. Oh, what's this? Oh, another void. That was really easy. What's in here? Finally, the compass! It won't be too useful, but it works. Uh, we can't do anything in here. I think we just have to keep going up. Because there's not much else we can do here. Uh, yeah. Because if we go... Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at... I'm analyzing it to see what we have to do here, because they, like I said, this dungeon can be super difficult if you don't, like, really mazy if you don't know what you're doing. But luckily, I can do it. Let's get out of here, because we don't need to go to this end anymore, to be honest. It's literally for nothing now. Alright. Let's go this way. This way. Not deal with the little devil, any or the big devil anymore, whatever these things are called, I don't know. That chest is suspicious. I'm not sure how to get it. Okay. Is that stairs? Oh, it is stairs. There we go. So now we can go over this way. Ooh, which way do I need to go? Oh, that disappears? Okay, I guess we're just going this way. <laughs> Where does that go? That goes down... Does that go anywhere? No, it doesn't. For some reason, I thought it did. Oh! There's a bumble wall right there! Hold on. Where's that go? Where's that go? Oh, what the hell is this for? Whatever it is, we're gonna press it, because it might be useful for something later. Let's go up these stairs and see where it takes us. Oh, we can't do that right now. <laughs> That's cool, literally, but we can't do that right now. Can we do... Can we go anywhere from here? Oh wait, there's stairs right here. That helps. Go down. We're gonna jump down. Make a loop again. Break all the pots because it does not matter. Go up again. Okay, I think I understand this dungeon now. For the most part. We're gonna go like that. And I wanna push that up. Or do I wanna go this way? I wanna see what's up here. Can I do this? I cannot. Okay. Um, well. Shit. What? Why would you put that over lava? Oh, whatever. 
Okay, we cannot do those puzzles right now, because we need the dungeon item, which I I think I remember what it is now. Go up here. Push that, maybe? Push that. Ah, okay. So what is this? Where does this go? This just takes me he up here for no particular reason. I feel like this was for nothing. <laughs> this little devil can go to hell, literally. Let's try using a bomb, I guess. That won't do much, okay. Um, oh, the middle. We have to go to the middle. That makes sense, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're gonna go this way, go back up, go back around, because this dungeon is just literally a maze. Why are they giving us magic powder? We don't need any. Or it's an arrow. We could, oh, you know what we could do? We could make, we could go up here because I think we have to, because that'll take us up here. We have a key though. We can go anywhere at this point. It doesn't really matter where we go. Because if we go to that left area, that'll just take us nowhere. Just back in the circle. All right, so let's go this way. Open this lock, and now I think this is like a shortcut or something. Let's hopefully take this guy out. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. There we go. I think one more hit should do it. Or not. Come on. What? Whatever, screw this thing. I'll just continue on. There we go. Pfft, and he still hit me. Take out these pea hats because I hate these things. Oh, he just fell in the lava. He did my work for me. Uh, we're gonna go... We can go up if we can... Okay, let's go this way first. Okay, that's for an absolute... Oh, there's hearts over there. Why? Okay, that's for nothing, I guess. What's up this way? Wait, what? Is that not a... Guess not. Okay. We're gonna keep going this way, I guess. There we go, some hearts. And we need... Oh, we needed both of those. So I guess we needed that one to go this way, and then the other one to open lock the door. That would make more sense, actually. Alright, now... What's up here? Oh, it's a one-way door. Okay. Super useful. I'll take the bombs. It opens that. Anything else in here? Nope. The one-way door is... I don't know where the stairs went to, but... Or lead to. The boss is up there. Ah, <sighs> this dungeon's crazy, I know. Gotta take these guys out. Whoops. Hey, we did it. Key acquired. <laughs> Can we get the heart? More hearts, please. Thank you. So is this for a key? That's it? I think that was all just for a key. Nope, there's something over here. Oh, these guys! Yay, these guys are back. The Dodongos for the third time. The Dodongo-like enemies, I guess. Okay. Turn that 
away, please. Eat your bombs, they're good for you. So if you exit this room, you have to actually... I think you have to do this boss fight again if you do it, if you exit the room. So don't do that. Oh, they're like, it's like they're kissing. That's cute. Thank you for the fairy. I don't really need it, but hey. Turn around, sir. Sir, turn around, please. Thank you. Eat your bomb. It's good for you. Eat it. Thank you. There, there's a chest appears, right? What? Okay. I was worried. I was like, wait a minute. Where's the chest? Right there. Alright. Um, we keep going this way. We should be able to get up there soon, I hope. Okay, that's for another... That unlocks that. But I want to go up here. Ooh, hookshot time. I love using the hookshot in this game. It's so satisfying. What is this? Oh, nice. We don't need that. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, though. We had a whole le buttload of recovery items for everything. This hallway looks a little suspicious, but I'm not going to ask. What's up here? Okay, 2D section. I figured that much. I think this is going to go... somewhere else, maybe? Quick shot there. Go down here. Where the hell is this gonna go? Oh, it just leads all the way around back to where we started. Okay, that's nice. So what the hell was the point of any of that? Besides opening, unlocking that door right there. That would make more sense, actually. Let's go back, I guess. Thank you. Damn it. Okay, there. I didn't think that's where that went, but I'm going to scan this wall. Nothing. Okay. Let's go. How do we get out of here? Uh-oh. Am I stuck? I think I just made my trap myself in here. Actually, let's play Mambo's Mambo, because I never showed that off. Because I actually do want to go back to the beginning of the dungeon and show something real quick. Yes. Alright, so we're back here. We're gonna go up. Because I want to go this way in that little hallway right here. Perfect. Because there's a bomble wall right there. I'm pretty sure this is actually what you're supposed to do, but I did things a little backwards. Oh, you can go over here. Oh my god. That's not fair. <laughs> What's in the chest? Oh my god, it's the map. Thank the lord. We got the map, okay. Oh, we have a lot of this dungeon left. <laughs> but yes, it does look like a turtle. Kind of ironic. This dungeon's hell. <laughs> Sometimes. Can we push that at all? Nope. Oh. This just led to the staircase. We don't need to go over here. This is for nothing. It's literally just a shortcut. Okay, let's play Mumbo's Mumbo again. So we can just get back here quickly. I don't think we had to, but I'll do it anyways. Right here. Equip the hookshot, I guess. It's like my default item. Rock's Feather and Hookshot. I'm gonna go back to where we were. There we go. Because <laughs> I got stuck and I didn't feel like just taking the long way around, so... There we go. Break these pots, because why not? Ow, that's not fair. <laughs> Go over here. This way. 
Luckily, we don't have to fight these guys again. That's a key, clearly, because the compass told us. I go. Oh, what's over here? This is a new. Oh, that's the boss, I think. Looks like the boss door to me. Can't go there yet. Come on, take this bitch out. Oh, yeah, two hits on him. Nice. There we go. Ow. What's this? I didn't see that. Oh! Oh! We're back outside! Okay. One of the fewer dungeons that actually let you go back outside. There's actually... This is actually supposed to be your last heart piece. Fun fact. This is the 30 second heart piece. Anyway. <laughs> What's over this way? Oh, another teleporter. Nice. We're gonna go this way. Activate this, because we can, just in case. I thought that other one was the last teleporter. Nope. What's this over here? This should take us here. Oh, we have to take these guys out again. Oh, that's the catch. Ah, oh, lovely. Why, though? That's kind of annoying. You have to take these guys out like this. Eat that. Hope I have enough bombs for this. You just gotta predict where they're gonna be. I hate this kind of thing. Come on. Hey, he ate it. The second one's almost dead, the first one not so much. Did not even shoot that. Oh, come on, dude. If you run out of bombs, you have to actually restart this, so... There's one. God damn it. This is gonna be a pain. How many bombs do I have left? 40. Oh, never mind. I have plenty. Still, I don't want to waste them all. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to do this correctly, but I mean, whatever. Uh... Eat the bomb! Thank you. Okay, two more hits. Wait for him to open his mouth. Say ah. Say ah. There you go. There's another hit. Pick up a bomb. Wait for him. These guys are so slow. Personally annoying, annoying many bosses. Okay, he's gonna go. He's gonna turn around. Good, 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 good. And we got this, whatever this is. Alright, what is it? Oh, it's a key. I mean, I knew it was a key, but I wasn't sure, like, if it was a boss key or anything else. That's literally all that was for. else do we have to do? Uh, how do we get over there? I don't think there's stairs. There probably is, actually, and I just don't see them. Uh, we could go... Okay, we gotta go this way. Go up there. Hook shot to the chest. Maybe this dungeon wasn't as bad as I thought it was. In my head, I was worried about it, because I'm like, oh god, I get always get lost here. But it's really not that bad. Let's just continue on. We don't need to. We don't need to fight this dude. There we go. What? Jerks. Oh, that's the only way we can go. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> Hook shot. What's this gonna be? Okay, only purple rupee, got it. Alright. What is this key for, though? There's nowhere else we can go from here. Oh, wait, we can go down. Okay, I was like, wait, what? We can go down here. There's a key here. 
I think I have to... Okay, that's for something... I don't think I can do right now. Let's read, let's look at the owl statue and ask him about something. Or ask him about it. Is he gonna say something? If the statue looks strange, uh, shoot it with the bow. Wow, okay, thanks. That's not doing anything. Let's go this way. Push that. Thanks, Beemos. <laughs> Another key! Okay. Where is this gonna lead us to? This is gonna take us down, all the way back down, up down here. Oh. Do I wanna go over there? Probably not, but I'll go anyway. Oh, this is for something we don't need to do right now. Okay. Um. Die. Oh, you have to shoot it from here. That makes more sense, actually. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool puzzle. Um, why do we have all these keys, though? We're getting all these keys for no reason. I mean, there's a locked door right there, but we can't get to it. Going down will do absolutely nothing but refill everything, so let's just do that. No bumble walls. Nope. I figured there would have been. Okay. Let's keep going. Where do we go from here? Because I'm not entirely sure. Um... This is where I get stumped, because we don't have the item, dun the dungeon item, and we can't do much. There's gotta be a bomb of wall I missed. There was obviously that powder right there, but we there's nothing to do with that. Uh... Hmm... How the hell do we get down there? Nothing connects to that area. Uh, this is puzzling because there's nothing that connects to that area and there's no way to get over there. So let's just look around, I guess. So we have all these damn keys, and this just leads back to where we started. We have this room we can't do anything in. So I'm wondering what all this is for, because we can't, like I said, we can't do anything. Let's think. I wish the staircases would actually tell you where they led instead of being really annoying and not telling telling you. Could there be a bumble wall over there? Theoretically. I don't think so. Hmm. K. 
can't do anything with that. I could have sworn. There has to be something that I'm missing here. There's a bumble war right there. I didn't see that. Where's that gonna lead? Oh, oh perfect. And now we can use that to light that. Ow. The hell? Oh, I see. Oh, it's just to, to brighten the room up. Okay. So we have this key. Okay. Now we're in dark areas. Yay. My favorite part about Zelda games. Dark areas. There's probably nothing up there. Alright, let's keep going. I'm gonna keep go... Okay, that's a, that's a pit. It's so dark in here, you can barely see. Oh, oh, there was another bomb wall right here. Whoops. Okay, this goes. Oh, and it led back. This makes a lot more sense now. And if it stopped falling in the same freaking hole, that'd be lovely. Now! Whoops, side. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Just brighten the room. That'll tell us absolutely nothing. For a split second, let's see it. I think we have plenty of magic to go around. So how do we get over there, that is? So, like, this is for nothing. I'm still stuck, because... There's no way to get here. Is there? No, because the torches are in the way. Right? Or can you go behind them, and I'm just dumb. Oh, yeah, you can just... You can just go behind them. Dur -dur -dur. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm just dumb. I'm being- my brain's like fried from this dungeon. So I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Okay, now we're here. More lava bubbles. I don't think you can kill these, can you? You can try, but it won't do much. Awesome. We are so close to being done with this, I promise. <gasps> Oh, I almost fell in the lava there. That would be awful. Oh. And that's what the red and blue switch is for. Also, it's supposed to be... Okay, it was already... I think I messed this up already. Also, new mini-boss. A super easy mini-boss. Alright then. Didn't even get a chance to even talk about it. They send you back for a reason. Good, 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 good. Where was that switch again? I think it was... It was in this room, I think. No, no, it was right there. So all we gotta do is just keep... Yeah. If we can just flip it, go back here, go to the teleporter, and there we go, we're good. At least I think. Run. Run like hell. Now we're gonna make it orange. I guess it was for nothing, because it... It made no sense to have it there. I go back to the beginning, go in the teleporter, and hope that I don't have to walk back. I'm a little worried that I have to, but... Hopefully I don't. It shouldn't reset. We're going to teleporter again. Literally the only time a teleporter is useful in the dungeon 
is in turtle in the final one. Now we should. Yep. Okay, we can go over here now. In this, what is this gonna be? It's the dungeon item. Okay. The magic, the magic rod. Yep, that's literally all it is. The magic rod. It can shoot magic. That's it. It's super, super, super dumb. Okay, I wouldn't say it's dumb, but it's kind of a really anticlimactic dungeon item, in my opinion. Also, I didn't realize where we were. We're up in this corner. Got it. Okay, now that we have this thing... Now that we have this thing... Let's go in the teleporter. Oh. I told you, this dungeon would be long. And remember that ice? Well, we can melt that now. It can light torches too, so it can make fire- it can- Oh, so I guess it's just a fire rod. It's essentially a fire rod. It's, it has no actual use in the overworld, except actually for nothing, really. But we can melt ice. It's pretty- pretty dumb for a final item, in my opinion. They could have really used this- they could have had this much earlier, but they didn't. Kind of a missed opportunity there. But whatever, I'm not gonna be picky. I completely missed that shot. You can also aim up if you need. If you suck at aiming like I do. Even though it's only four directions. What? This might just be for, uh backtracking and not going this way, but I'm just gonna go do it anyways, because I'm lazy and I'm glad I want to do this. I'm determined to do this. Damn it. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not for this. Ah, oh, excuse me. Uh, so now, we have the fire rod. Um, we can do a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. For starters, we can go in that dark room, light the torches, get that chest. We can also, 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 yeah, I think that's really it. <laughs> There's not much we can do with the fire rod. I mean, besides light, uh, melt things and light torches. That's really it. I think you can take these guys out too, if I'm correct. Nope. It cannot, so it's really weak. <laughs> A really weak final item. Alright, let's go this way. Move that there. Because that... Alright, whatever, that works. <laughs> I can still go up the stairs. Go over here. Melt all this ice. This should lead... Okay. Ah! Goombas! <laughs> Where's this gonna lead? Oh! Oh shit, we don't have a key, do we? No. Well, that's a problem. Where are we gonna get a key? In that room. Oh! Alright, let's go back. <laughs> I did this completely wrong. Could teleport actually. Let's just do that. I can just teleport from 2D sections. That's kind of cool. Yep, taking me back to the beginning. It'll be it'll be quicker than just walking. Whoops! Did not mean to play it again. I thought I had the other thing equipped. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Equip the fire. I'm just calling it the fire rod. It's just it's what it is. It's a fire rod. Can go in here. Do that. And now we can light these torches. I said light these torches. There we go. <laughs> get a key, go back up in that room, unlock the door, get the boss key, we're done. That's literally the entire dungeon. Like I said, the other uh, the other chest that we haven't gotten or they've gotten was just the uh, cream, and we don't really need that because we already have some. I really shouldn't have bought any because 
I'm not really going to be dying much anymore. But we will need it for the final boss. That's definitely... That's definitely going to be a... Surefire way of uh, beating that final boss. Which I'm so excited for. The final boss is so much fun. Boom. Boom. Alright, we're back over here. Donut here, unlock the door. Mini boss time! We have this guy again, but with lava instead of water. Really, 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 really funny. You can use the. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. That's. You can't even use the damn fire rod on the boss. On the mini boss. God, this is. Okay, really? This is going to be annoying, because you can only move. Slow it down. There we go. Back it up. You're going to go this way now. Now you're going to go backwards. This guy is super, super easy. I think you just spin attack, really. If you do a spin attack, that will be more damage. No, he's still super, super easy. Yeah, this is just... Uh, I had a comment last time about this boss fight. It was a mini-boss telling me, like, this guy reminds me of the Octorok boss, or the big Octorok boss from uh, Jabu Jabu's Belly and Ocarina of Time. Like, yeah, I agree. That's kind of... I think this was the inspiration, I guess. Okay, so now we got to fill in this entire area. This should not be hard. Even though I failed it. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. But how do we get to the boss fight? Or like, how do we get to the final boss, I wonder? Because there's stairs, obviously, but where's the stairs? Like, there's no stairs to get there, as far as I know. Like, I don't think there's any stairs that we've seen that we can... Maybe right there. No, because that just leads... I'm not sure, actually. I'll have to find that out. Those lead... Because that leads... Uh, somewhere else. But I'm not sure where... The boss fight goes. Or where the final... Or, uh, wherever it is. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to figure it out. For now, let's figure out this stupid puzzle. I really don't like this thing. I do, but I don't. Oh, that's how you do it. Right here. There we go. All done. And this should... What's this gonna be? Boss key. Nightmare key, I mean. Okay. Now that we have that, now we gotta look for the boss door, or the boss staircase. Because the game is stingy and doesn't want to show us where that is. Actually, I think it was... I think it was in that one room I was trying to get to earlier. Or get through earlier, but I didn't... Let's try going that way. Play Mambo's Mambo, because I've played this a lot lately, because I kind of need to. It's just a good shortcut. Oh, we are almost done, finally. All we have left is the boss. I can't believe it. I really can't believe how quick this... Whoops. Ah, yes. Hot boiling lava. I do love how the dungeon makes lava look. I just did this incorrectly. Hold on. <laughs> I do love how uh, the game makes lava look. Like, oh, it's so like it's kind of cute. How it's gonna sound really dumb or like really creepy. It's kind of cute when Link falls in the lava because it just looks like he's like I don't know. It's just it's funny to me. It shouldn't be, but it is. And I think I 
This is how you do this puzzle. Yep. I screwed it up again, I think. Because I think you can just... Can't you just... Yeah, okay, never mind. I got it. Yeah, look at me. Figuring out puzzles. Uh, or not. I need to reset. Reset the room. Okay, maybe... Down here. How the hell? This is gonna be a little tough. trying to think how the hell to do this puzzle. Um, oh, like this, like that. It's okay, it's not as hard as I thought. Durr. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I'm okay. This, this, like, this, like I said, this dungeon has been frying my brain. <laughs> Literally, because it's fire. Finally, we're at the, bo the boss. This is... Literally just a big lava bubble. Hothead. That's seriously his name. What you want to do is, uh, what do you want to do? I think just shoot him with the fire rod, put him out, and you'll have your chance to hit him. It's like not that hard. I say think. Or you just have to use. The, okay, you have to use the fire or the fire. Yeah. Yes, you use the fire rod on a fireball to kill him. It's really not that hard. Super easy boss in my opinion. Like, it's it's not that hard. Yeah, he's dead already. What's he have to say now? Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have to, nothing would have to change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you too are in the dream. Hmm. I wonder what he meant by that. You too are in the dream. Well, <laughs> this whole dream thing is kind of getting drilled into our head by this point. So if you don't know if this is, this this whole island is a dream, then like. There you go. Anyways, here's the final instrument of the sirens. That's it. Kill these damn birds up. And that's it. Next time on Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We go to the Windfish's Egg. Well, actually, no. We're going to be finishing up 100% stuff, actually, before we actually get to the final boss. We're going to be getting the rest of the heart pieces, the rest of the secret seashells, and doing uh, something that Donpei was involved in and I didn't actually start. See you guys then.